We have 25 people under the niche working at the moment. They're carrying out critical duties. We also have uh, operatives undertaking care and custody works to ensure that all of the rooms and the critical systems are in place, maintained and safe. So when we fully remobilize, it's systems go to start off with. And we've had to change the way we work on site. Upon arriving on site, we have a number of one-way systems. We've managed to utilize the gate lines, the escalators and some of the architectural features to get a natural flow to the station. There's clear indicators on the floor and the walls, along with clear indications of the two meter spacing as a reminder. Works are segregated away from each other. This is done by a heat map. In the canteen, we've segregated the workforce into single individual desks in the area to ensure that they're clearly spaced. We have time schedules for the um, breaks for the guys, so we don't have more than 30 people in the desk requirements there. This also provides sufficient time for cleaning of the area as well. And we also have enhanced the PPE requirements for those parties in terms of security and the cleaners to ensure that they are managed and have the correct PPE at all times. It feels a little bit different on site, having a one-way system and the natural spacing as well. Now you have to think about where you're working. You just have to take that time to just think about what you're doing, where you're going and how you carry out the works. Upon first arrival on site, it can be a little bit daunting, all the new systems and control measures we've got in place. Generally, you find after a couple of hours, the operatives figure out the system. They are eased by all the control measures we have in place. They feel confident that their working area is safe enough for them to carry out all their activities and it becomes second nature just to follow all the control measures we've put in place.